Hi guys, it's Carol. How are you? I am making lasagna soup. I've got half a pound of 93% lean ground beef and I've got a pound of Italian sausage in here. I'm going to brown that up. Actually, I've got a bag of frozen diced onion I'm going to put in there too. Brown all that up, drain the grease, and then I'll be back. Okay, got that going. This recipe calls for uh, one and a half pounds of Italian sausage. We wanted to put some hamburger meat with it. It calls for a cup and a half of diced onions, six cloves of garlic. I won't put that much because I don't really like garlic. One tablespoon Italian seasoning, six ounces of tomato paste, two 15 ounce cans of diced tomatoes, do not drain it, and six cups of chicken broth. Instead of chicken broth, we're going to use vegetable broth. And then eight ounces of lasagna noodles and salt and pepper. This recipe doesn't call for zucchini, but I've got a bag of chopped up zucchini. I froze it sometime when I chopped up zucchini and had too much for whatever I was doing and with it. So I'm going to put that in there too. While the soup's cooking, it's coming right along, um, we're going to do a banana test. I bought this bag. It is lined with a foil type fabric. Supposedly, bananas will not ripen as fast as they do on the counter. So I'm going to put two bananas on the counter, and I'm going to put four in here, and we'll check them every day, and I'll show you. Well, there was practically no grease in there. It got my some grease on my strainer, but none dripped down to the bottom. So, good deal. I, I, my body doesn't like grease. Now we're going to add some garlic. And the tomato paste and the Italian seasoning goes in now? Mm -mm, just the garlic and tomato just paste. Just the garlic and tomato paste, and we cook it until the tomato paste looks rust colored. Okay, I may have missed some steps. I drained the meat. There was hardly any grease in there. I put a paper towel in the bottom of the pan after I took the meat out and pushed it around with a spoon and got every tiny little drop of grease left in there. Then we added in. Uh, the rest of the ingredients, now it's supposed to bring it to a boil, then put a lid on it and let it simmer for 30 minutes. And then you put in the lasagna noodles. Okay, I broke the lasagna noodles up. I tried to do it in fourths, but some of them did not want to crack just right. So hopefully we don't have some that are too underdone. And here is our soup we're going to add them to. This smells really good. I'm glad I put the zucchini in there because otherwise it's just meat, tomatoes, and pasta. But it smells really good. I'm going to put, uh, we've got some shredded mozzarella cheese we're going to sprinkle on top and we've got French bread to go with it. So I think this is going to be really good dinner. Oh, this smells so good. I think it's going to be delicious. And it was delicious. We really liked it. What we would do next time is I would add some chopped bell pepper when I add the onions and add about twice as much zucchini just because we like to have some veggies in there. I mean, I know lasagna doesn't normally have veggies, but I put lasagna, uh, slices of lasagna I mean, slices of zucchini in my lasagna. <laughs> Sometimes I use them for the noodles. But this was really good. Okay, I'm going to finish with a little bitty Dollar Tree haul. There's Molly Poodle. Tomorrow's October 1st. I'm going to see how much weight I can lose in October. But when I need something sweet, I need something. So I got some Tootsie Rolls. I thought if I just have one when I need something sweet. I got Werther's Original Chocolate Covered Caramels. I'm going to see how much this came out to per ounce. I probably way overpaid. This was a total impulse buy. And then I got Soft Caramels. Werther's Original Soft Caramels. The rest of this is for my video for tomorrow. I got some Chest Rub. 
This, I'm going to check and see if it's the same as Vicks. Uh, the ingredients are camphor, menthol, and eucalyptus. I got some new toothbrushes. And uh, now they come with caps. That's nice. I needed some of these little hooks to hang up a fall sign I got at Dollar Tree another day. And then I got some menthol cough drops. The main thing I went for, there's Toby, <laughs> he's, he's always in the middle of everything, is for these buckets because, well, I can't get them undone with one hand, but there's two buckets there. We are not supposed to store anything in cardboard boxes in the apartment complex because roaches love cardboard. So um, I've got pretty much everything in plastic containers with lids. I don't have roaches in my apartment, but you know I spray all the time because I have no control over what the person across the wall from me does. But anyway, I have pretty much everything in plastic containers, but I did have uh, some of my cold and flu stuff in a cardboard box. So I got these, and I will show that to you tomorrow. Hope you guys are doing well. Casey's got a cold, but I don't, so that's good. Um, hope you guys have a happy Sunday. And if you like soup, oh, oh man, I could eat soup every day of the week. If you like soup, that was a great hearty soup that I just made. We thought it had a really good flavor. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the morning. Leave me a comment and let me know what you're doing this weekend. Talk to you later.